Hi everybody, Mark here at Rapid Response and we got a 2020 Ford Interceptor SUV. This is uh, for our great friends out in Modoc County, which is in California, the whole way on the West Coast. Great customer of ours. Just goes to show you that we can serve a customer the whole way across the state. So east, west, north, south, doesn't matter. Rapid Response uh, has you covered 100%. So we take care of sourcing the vehicle for them. We take care of the upfitting and then also the transportation. We're gonna start at the front of the vehicle here. We have the uh, Go Rhino push bar, which has the wing wraps on it. Um, the fender wraps gives uh, extra protection along the sides. We have the lights integrated into the top rail here, which is nice, keeps everything else real nice and clean. We have a wheel and T-series ion there that we're flashing, both uh, red and blue. Makes a real nice setup. When you come along to the side, we're gonna have a dual T-ion, which is the red-blue surface mount. Mounts right, real nice horizontally, and as you can see, it's mounted the correct way, horizontally. Um, so it throws the beam pattern out like it's supposed to, not vertically mounted. Uh, right now, I have uh, the vehicle in uh, uh, park, and we have the California Steady Burn on. Um, as you can see, we have to have that on for California. So I'm going to... Give you some different flash patterns here. So, slider three. There's a, another mode. And then one's doing the back and still lets the steady burn in the front. Anytime there's any warning lights on a, on a California vehicle, we have to keep the steady burn light facing forward. We come around here to the side. We have some under mirror lights. There's a red one on this side and a, and a blue one obviously on the other side. We have a pillar mounted Unity Spotlight, which is an LED version that's in that. The graphics on the side here is, um, no, I think it's in personally an awesome graphics package. I think it's really neat, something different. And it is done by our in-house graphics division, Market Graphics. So all this is one piece of vinyl across here. Looks really nice. And we also uh, UV protect our graphics, so we actually laminate all our graphics. Uh, costs just a little bit more per vehicle, but in the end of it, it saves the customer a lot of money and maintenance um, of the graphics so they last the uh, entirety of the vehicle. Um, it's like basically clear coating your car. Uh, when you paint a vehicle in today's world, you get it clear coated. It's kind of the same way with graphics. We print the graphics and we basically clear coat it. The best way to explain that. This uh, vehicle on the inside, we're gonna show you um, on the other side, the K9 spot. On this side, it has a Havis prisoner transport system. So we have the uh, transport um, seat in here that if the officer still does need to transport somebody, they can do that. And it does replace the, win the, the window. Um, we put window bars on it, and then it actually replaces the door panels as well with solid door panels. Um, when you do these split units like this, um, the, any more room that you can get out of them is very important. So even that protruding a little bit off the door, this does make it a lot nicer uh, for that reason. So go ahead and close this up, move around to the back. I have another TI on here. Now keep in mind, we are in direct sunlight. Um, probably the worst time to ever do a video. Uh, we don't try to do videos at nighttime and show you, hey, look how bright our lights are, right? We try to give you a worst case scenario, which is direct sunlight. So this is a TI on and red blue behind some very, very dark window tint um, because we uh, try to uh, tint these windows up because it is a canine unit as well to try to keep the heat down on the inside. As we move around to the back, we have a set of uh, vertexes here in the taillights flashing red blue. We have the OPS public safety um, mobile workstation. Um, this is their storage drawer unit. So a real nice storage drawer unit. It has a push-up button to release it. And they use a, they don't use a metal lock. So what's nice is with these is they don't sit back here and they don't vibrate. They don't sit back and vibrate and make all kinds of noise while you're driving down the road. Um, unlike a lot of some of the other companies which use a, uh, which use a, um, a metal latch system. So it, it definitely is nice because of that. We have a gun rack mounted on top here, which is a Santa Cruz gun rack. And then also the system itself has some holes around here. So if they would want to put something else over in this side that they have room, they can actually run straps across if need be, if they, if they have to do that. And then this is a suspended version too, so they can still put all kinds of gear bags and stuff underneath it and does have a door lock. 
Behind that panel there um, is all our electronics panel. That panel can be removed and we have all our electronics built back behind that aluminum panel. We protect all our electronics so that way um, officers throwing gear in on top of it doesn't hurt and it creates that airflow gap um, that we uh, like to see for that airflow around all the electronics as well. I'm gonna flip this down. Back of the vehicle, we got some more graphics. We got some other T ions on the on a license plate bracket here in the back. And those are solids, and then we have them tied into the vertexes. Move around to the side of the vehicle here. This is going to have a Ray Allen hot and pop system in. Um, this is a uh, this Modoc uses this system, so we can install just about anything here at Rapid Response, and this is the system that we put in for them. So this gives us a holster with it, which is nice. It's a, it's a uh, plastic holster um, formed for this. And then we have temperature, tells us temperature ratings and everything right on here. And then we also have, when you put this in the holster, if you notice this, you'll see the temperature and everything. You can read it on here. But when it's in your holster, the only thing that's exposed and it's recessed is your door popper button. So if you push and hold that, No, it's not in park, guys. The door popper is not going to work. It doesn't work. Don't we stop? No, we'll just keep going. Okay, let's roll with it. Watch this. I'll put it in park so you can see it. Okay. Got to be in park. We have it in neutral to um, show you the other patterns in the light bar, so everything works correctly. So you put it in park, it puts everything on a on a on a different flash pattern. So. We're just going to do this again right here where I was at like this. So what this does is this shows you a screen on here, shows you some temperature settings and things like that. You can see that's a little hard to see it maybe out here. Nice case that it gives you in, like I said. And uh, when you put this in to the holster, it actually goes in backwards, which you would think is backwards, but it's not. And then there's a button there for the door popper and that door, that button is actually recessed. So when you push that button, this will vibrate, letting you know um, the officer know that the door pop, and then door pops open, and dogs come out, right? So pretty cool. Um, this is actually the dog that will be in this vehicle. Um, looks right like this. So this is a, a Havis K9 system in this in this vehicle here. We got the door popper, automatic fan system. We'll turn on and the siren, the lights, and everything will start chirping uh, if it hits a temp sense. So you can actually set the temp sense of whatever uh, that department wants and feel that is adequate. But this, uh, these guys are really cool. This is something that uh, this department does. They, they um, sell these to support their canine division. So if you're looking for, to support them, you can give us a call and purchase these dogs from us, or you can contact them directly and purchase from them. And if you notice, I'm wearing a cool hat today. It is their canine hat from out there, MODOC. Um, they support us greatly and we support them, and we, uh, we appreciate that, uh, that relationship with them. Well, you guys get back in your cage here for the time being. And then like I said, around the other side of the vehicle, we have the TI on the side again, our graphics, our under mirror light here on the side. And uh, we're going to hit the inside here and show you some of the stuff here on the inside. Inside we have our Havis console. It's a very nice simple setup in here. We have the wheel and siren controller. Customer radio that they're using. The Ray Allen heat system. Magnetic mic clips. Armrest. The PA mic. We mount a Garmin to the top of the uh, dash here for them, something that they like to have. So we mount that there for them so they have that and their other stuff. So it works very well for them. So very, very uh, nice, clean build here for this department. will serve them well. Um, one thing that uh, is really cool, 
you know, people are like, well, how, how can an East Coast company serve a West Coast company like this? This is not the only department that we do that's far away from us. Um, the, the department has told us multiple times that there are vehicles that they have in service. Once they put them in service, they don't have to go back and fix our wiring issues. And uh, that is something that I pride ourselves in here at Rapid Response is our wiring and our upfitting and how we do things. It's much different than others. And uh, I uh, welcome everybody to come and do a tour here at Rapid Response and take a look exactly on how we do our upfits. If you have any other questions, make sure you check us out. 911rapidresponse.com. We got Instagram, we got Facebook, and we have TikTok, right? So check out those short, cool clips now on our TikTok profile.